All right, high school painters. Hopefully everyone is getting caught up. There was a, about a week and a half there where a lot of you were struggling to, I think, get comfortable with distant learning and just kind of stay on track. So hopefully everyone's caught up now. Um, just so you are kind of aware of where we're at, what you should have done so far is found your still life objects, set them up, five to seven objects, various heights, various shapes, various textures, um, sizes, and then it should overlap objects and um, kind of have that staggering effect. Once you have your still life set up, you should have gone in and submitted and shown me some preliminary sketches of your still life. Remember, when you do these sketches, you don't have to include every single object. You may want to concentrate on one specific area of the still life, or um, just as long as there is at least three objects in your final. Now, what you're going to be doing is everyone should have gotten a piece of watercolor paper. You have to do this project on watercolor paper. When this distant learning first started, I sent in your yellow folders, I sent two pieces of watercolor paper. So make sure you're using this. And then when you're ready and you've done your sketches and you've decided on a still life for your final, your next job then is to decide, is your artwork going to go landscape or is it going to go portrait? Vertical, horizontal. Once you do that, you will take your pencil and you are going to sketch out your still life. So you go in to your watercolor paper, you take your preliminary sketch, and then again, your, your still life is still set up. You should still be looking at that as well. And then you're going to go in and you're just going to sketch out your objects that you are going to include in your still life. So I'm just going in and lightly, hopefully you can see how light I am sketching in. Don't press really, really hard. You always want to make sure that you are pressing um, very lightly with that. And then you just uh, generally sketch in placement of objects like I am here and then when you are done you are going to find okay so you've spent the time sketching all of your objects in you are going to find either masking tape this I did not send with you so hopefully you have either painters tape masking tape you could even use the clear tape I want you to look at your still life and find the area that has the biggest highlight. The highlight, remember, is where the light is hitting. So for me, and I'm just gonna take this away here quick so I can show you. If you look at my still life setup, and it's changed a little bit, my biggest highlight for sure is on this elephant here where the light's hitting but I'm not really drawing that. I have this glass bottle. So what I'm gonna do is make sure to include the highlights on this glass container. So once you have figured out where that highlight is, the strongest highlight is on your paper, take your tape and you are going to get it so you have that resist line. So for me, I definitely want that part of the spray bottle, the glass spray bottle to be white. So you're going to just use some tape resist. And if you have other areas like up here, when I get that plant drawn, there's another mark highlight way up there. So I can also include a piece of tape up there as well. So you're just going to use some tape resist in the highlighted areas of your piece. Now some other things to consider. When you're sketching in your objects, check with other objects around it. 
So for me, I'm going to compare, okay, where does my plant start? My plant should start right about here in comparison to the glass bottle. So remember to look at things around to help you line things up correctly. Please do not press hard with your pencil on your final. When you do that, you're going to have a hard time covering with, colored, uh, with your watercolor. So if you do happen to press hard, just make sure that you are lightening up the lines with an eraser. So for today, April 28th, high school painters, you need to have your watercolor paper, your still life sketched out, and then add the masking tape or scotch tape or anything sticky, like maybe even a sticker in your area that is highlighted. And then upload a photo on Canvas so I can see your progress. And then you do not start painting it yet. Please do not start painting yet. Right now I just wanna see the sketching out.